Go. Okay, so my son and I, we took a trip out to Saskatchewan to visit family and uh, just a story from on the way here. So we took an airplane ride to Calgary and then from there rented a car to keep going. We were about an hour down the road and all of a sudden there was all kinds of smoke coming up from the car. And so um, I pulled over and here's the thing is I really feel like people in Alberta, Saskatchewan are a lot more faith filled uh, in general now because when I pulled over to check out the car within five minutes or so I had two different uh, people pull over to offer me help and the first thing I and I'm car illiterate but the first person said well first of all it was obvious that the coolant was spraying everywhere that's what was causing the smoke but anyways they said oh just this cap this coolant cap here was pulled up so that must be where it was spewing from so I went to a, a gas station and bought coolant and refilled this and I'm stoked that we got this fixed. Go down the road another five minutes and I'm just fired up, we're on the road. And then same thing, that's tons of smoke coming out. I'm like, okay, that didn't fix the problem. So I pull over and I'm checking things out, like really handyman here, and just point the camera in. So what was wrong was that this, uh, this pipe here and the clamp had slid off and that's where it was spewing out of the coolant. So I had to try to grab this clamp and pull the whole thing up, the hose up, but the, the strength of a hand, my hands at least weren't strong enough. So I was like, oh man, I need a tool out in the middle of nowhere on the side of highway number one. What are we gonna do, shoot? Ah, so I was like, wait a minute, I better pray about this one. You know, ask and it will be given to you. If you have faith and believe, you will receive what you believe for when you ask in prayer. So, okay, God, I, I finally prayed. Okay, God, you got to solve this one. You got to help us here. So I pray that. And then I'm, I'm not kidding you. Then a minute after I prayed, when I, I get out from the vehicle, a truck pulls up behind us and a gentleman comes out asking, offering help. And so I said, oh, yeah, I need this tool, like some kind of... Uh, something to uh, pull this up and he gets in the back of his truck and he's got pliers and so he hands them to me and I'm in here jigging this up and well well we're starting to talk get to know each other while I'm fixing it so I said okay well you got a farm nearby and he says no actually I'm a pastor I was just I says no way and, and as I as he tells me that I get so excited that I drop the tool and it falls to the very bottom of here so good thing I have super long arms. I was able to get the tool back. But a uh, minute after I had prayed, then God sends a guy uh, who's, a, who's a pastor. And so praise God that he answers our prayers, even in the small things. And uh, so anyways, before, when I left for the trip in the morning in, uh, from Abbotsford Air, Airport, I felt to bring 50 of my gospel rap CDs. So, um, Anyways, when after we had fixed the vehicle, I, I said thanks so much. And hey, since you're a pastor with the youth at your church, I'll give you some free CDs. I said, well, how many how many youth do you have at your church? And he's like, oh, it's, it's quite a bit. Don't worry about it. I've got 50 youth at my church. I says, I like that number. And I go and I give him a whole box of CDs. And so God is working, I believe, in Alberta, Saskatchewan, people full of faith. Keep seeking the Lord while he may be found for a move of God. All right, ask him in Jesus' name.